since I did a vlog like this, but I have a stack full of really fun goodies from Aventura, and I'm going to show them to you today. So definitely the most awkward part of a video is the introduction. Um, I literally say the same thing every time. So do you know how hard it is to film a video on the one day a week that you're at home, mostly by yourself? The big kids are at school. Polly's down for a nap. I have her on the monitor and I'm going to try to get this in before she wakes up. If you don't already know, um, I get to be an ambassador for Aventura Clothing. Um, they are a women's clothing company and they use all sustainably sourced um, materials. And um, they're super concerned about like what factories they use and um, you know where things are produced and how they're made and um, fair wages. Uh, um, they have mostly women's clothes. They do have a, um, another company called Ecoths. Ecoths. We're gonna pretend I know how to say that. Um, they have menswear as well, um, but we're gonna be talking about um, ladies clothing today. I have a stack full of goodies from Aventura and I have a packing list. And so I'm gonna go through them piece by piece. And then um, in the blog post that's gonna to accompany today's video, I'll be sure to put a stock photo of each item so that you can see it. I have not worn all of these yet, so I don't have lifestyle images yet, um, but we are planning a trip this month, so I will have plenty of photos to share um, when we get back. With regards to Aventura sizing, I feel very comfortable in a medium in just about everything. Dresses, tops, PJs, that's pretty comfortable for me. And I am probably a little bit larger eight right now. Um, I'm usually um, like a solid six, but um, I am still like, you know, getting back to my pre-baby situation. So at the moment, I'm kind of on the upper side of an eight. And the medium fits great. Um, I will say, I feel like their tops run a little bit small, so I always tend to go up a little bit larger in tops. And then I feel like the pants run a bit big, but um, the pieces are super comfy, very versatile. It's a little bit higher price point, but I've been wearing these pieces, not these pieces, but Aventura pieces for almost two years and they last so well. Um, they wash great, they wear great. Um, pretty much everything I have looks brand new. Um, so. If you're gonna um, invest a little bit more money in pieces, I highly recommend these. This is definitely my favorite uh, collection so far. Um, I loved every single piece I got. I did make one exchange, so there's one item that I ordered that you won't see here today, but um, I've already exchanged it for something else, which is in the stack. Um, so I'm gonna talk a little bit about why I sent that piece back and who I think it might be perfect for. It just didn't work for me. So I'm gonna work my way through the stack. I'm gonna tell you a little bit about each piece. Um, I know it's not easy to see um, clothes, you know, when people hold them up. So not the best way to show you these things, but I'm gonna to talk to you about each piece, why I like them. And then I'm gonna include some better images in the blog post. Um, if you are on the blog, those will be um, further down the page. And if you're viewing this video on YouTube, then you can click the link um, in the comment section below the video. Uh, and then you'll be able to see all these pieces up close and personal. So. Um, the first piece is the Torin jacket, and this is, um, it's not exactly French terry, but it's a really soft um, knit fabric. Um, it's basically a hoodie without a hood. Um, it does have um, finger holes, which is one of my favorite things. Um, and then it also has a really fun, like, funnel neck. Um, it has four snaps down the front, so you can snap these up, and it sort of, like, stands up under your chin, which I really like, or you can open it and it has a little bit of an asymmetrical look to it, but it's long sleeved. It has really fun stitch detail at the bottom, it has side pockets, so cozy. I've already worn this to the gym, just like over my regular workout clothes when it's a little bit cooler in the mornings, um, but also looks great with just jeans and you know, like a white t-shirt or something. Um, super versatile, very cozy, perfect for fall. Um, so next up is the Cheyenne vest. This is one of my favorite pieces. Um, there's actually a um, sort of a shirt jacket that's made out of the same fabric. I loved the vest. Um, it's like perfectly cozy. It's almost, it's softer than Sherpa, um, but that's kind of what it reminds me of. And then it has some just gray knit detail like here on the pocket and um, then 
again, the lining is sort of this gray knit. So if you wear it open, it looks really pretty. Uh, this is so fun over a sweater or over a button down. Um, I have already worn this once um, just with like casual athleisure wear underneath. And it's so cozy, especially on days when you don't need a jacket, but you do need just like one little extra layer. Um, and it comes in a couple of colors, I think maybe a white, um, but I got this in gray ice. Um, and it's like the perfect gray, but it's a little bit on the warmer side. You're gonna want it. So the next thing um, on my list is a little out of order. Um, these are the Sleepy Time Pajamas in Lipstick Red. And I think I'm gonna save these for Christmas. The top is sort of an oversized like men's button down. Um, PJ top, but it has a really pretty scalloped detail on the sleeves and on the pockets. And there are pants, but I got the shorts, um, which are so cute. And they have like a little uh, fold over, kind of like flyaway shorts um, on the hip, which is really pretty. They're so flattering. So the next thing I got is the Jones boyfriend shirt in navy. This is a I hesitate to call it flannel. It's not flannel. It is a plaid button down. So instinctively I want to call it flannel but it's almost like gauzy like not linen but more of a gauzy fabric it's really pretty this is navy and black plaid um, it's just a pretty typical oversized button down um, I didn't really jump on the plaid train last year so I'm looking forward to incorporating that into my wardrobe this year okay so the next piece I think is my favorite thing in the box I have not worn it yet um, mostly because it hasn't been cold enough, but this is the Harlow zip neck sweater. It's more of a like pullover style. It's got black fleece lining. The outside looks like a sweater, but it is so fine that it almost feels fleecy. Um, uh, it's just gray, long sleeved. It has this super cute, um, zipper detail on the neck, which I really, really like. And then the hem is kind of this crossover tulip hem and I don't know if you can tell but the entire thing is lined in this amazing black fleece it is so cozy um, it is long enough to wear with leggings in the back I think maybe I would wear a little bit longer t-shirt or like a, a tank that kind of came down longer in the front just to make me feel a little bit more comfortable but the back is definitely long enough to cover up your bum um, it also has side pockets with just like a hidden zipper which I really like they still lay really flat um, but you can put your hands inside if you're cold. So definitely one of my favorites. Okay, so the next piece is the Ayla long sleeve top. I originally got this in one color. I got the Whisper White and then I returned the Miley dress. Okay, so the Miley dress is black, um, heavy knit, sort of a round neck, long sleeved, um, and it was very fitted through the waist and then it kind of had like, like a twirl skirt almost. It's so pretty, the seaming is beautiful, the fabric is fantastic. It was not at all flattering on my postpartum body. Um, as much as I liked it in theory, it did not work for me at all. So I just returned that dress and I got a second Ayla top. If you have seen um, a blogger in the last, oh, I don't know, three winters, you have seen a waffle print shirt that buttons down the front and ties at the waist. And that is exactly what this is. You can certainly find very inexpensive versions on Amazon. Um, I don't have any idea how the quality is because I never ordered one, but the quality on these is fantastic. And it's a V-neck, it's like the perfect neck. The buttons are functional, fantastic if you're nursing. Um, and then you'll see this particular one I still have tied up. So it looks really cute, just tied at the waist with jeans. Um, you can throw it on over a dress. It looks great with a skirt. I have worn this so many times. I wore it with denim cut off shorts to a concert um, pretty much the day it came out of the box. Um, and then the rose color um, I have also worn several times. It is not currently tied because I washed it and so I untied it to wash. And you can see that it just buttons all the way down the front so you could tuck it in, you could just wear it out, you could unbutton it and wear it as a cardigan. This is a keeper. Um, one thing I got is these Roma pants, and these are just a ponty knit. They're really not ponty knit, actually. It's, they're not as thick as that, but they're a lot thinner than just, I mean, a lot thicker than just cotton leggings. Um, but they're a really nice, just black legging. They have these um, elastic panels on the hip, and 
uh, it, it doesn't have a pocket, but I feel like that little bit of a like elastic inset almost looks like, you know, those little tiny pockets at the top, but there's no pockets on the butt. It does have really pretty seaming down the front and the back. Um, so these look really nice with like riding boots and an oversized sweater, or if you like to wear leggings under a dress in the winter, if it's cold outside, this is the perfect weight. They're not too hot. Um, they're thin, but warm. Use them as a layering piece. I think is what I'm going to do. Um, and then I got two corduroy pieces. Corduroy is not usually my jam, but the colors on these are so nice and it's a really thin whale corduroy. And so I decided to try them and I'm so glad I did. These are both the Logan style. So the pants are Logan, um, the Logan pant. They are um, a skinny jean cut. They're not like the super skin tight skinny, but they are definitely not a straight leg. Like they fit very slim and it's just a five pocket jean design and like I said these are the six I feel like they run a little bit big so I would definitely size down um, I'm usually in an eight right now in pants and the six fits pretty well um, I think this is going to be one of those fabrics that you pretty much have to wash and dry every time you wear them and so um, I have noticed that these fit much better straight out of the dryer so the next corduroy piece I got is also the Logan fit but this is the Logan skirt and it is just an A-line corduroy skirt and it has buttons down the front. They are functional buttons. Um, this is not high waisted. This really does sit like at your true waist, right, um, right below your belly button even. So if you want this to be high waisted, I would definitely size down. This is the size six and it is still like right at or right below my belly button. If you size down to make it high waisted, it is gonna be more of a mini skirt not that that's a bad thing. It does not have a slit in the back. It only has the slit where it buttons down the front. So you could totally get away with wearing it a little bit shorter, especially if you wore tights underneath. Um, the link is really perfect on the one that fits like right at my belly. Um, it's a few inches above the knee, so I can still get away with wearing it to work. It looks fantastic with a chunky sweater. Uh, it also looks great with a bodysuit tucked in and then maybe like a little denim jacket or a leather jacket even. That's it, 10 pieces from the Aventura 2019 Fall Winter Collection. Every piece is amazing. Um, some of my fellow ambassadors have gotten completely different selections um, than the things that I chose and their pieces look so good. Every time I see someone with something on, I'm like, oh my goodness, how did I not even know that was a thing? Um, I feel like the clothes are so much prettier in person and on your body than they even are in the catalog and they're gorgeous in the catalog, but sometimes I feel like, you know, you have to get it in your hands you have to be able to touch the fabrics and I can tell you that these fabrics are so rich the clothing is so well made it's definitely worth the investment and you can feel good about your purchase um, this is not fast fashion um, so I'm going to link a little bit more information about that below and I'm going to share some photographs of the individual pieces along with their website descriptions and price points. Um, you can always save 20% on your very first Aventura order by using the code TAZANDBELLY20, which I'll include here on the video. Um, so if you haven't shopped with Aventura before, now is your chance to save 20%. Um, on your first order. Um, they also have fantastic sales at the end of the season. A lot of the stuff will be discounted uh, and you can rack up before the next season comes out. So um, thanks for joining me today and I can't wait to show you these in more detail.